I mean, wow, look at this pearlescent colour. Um, yeah. Volvo 480. Spider is now clean. I am on my way in a mini convoy. I say mini, it's just me and the Yamaha XSR edition in front of me. Um, so I've just met up with them at a local meeting point. Um, I've literally been driving for about five minutes. Um, so the journey to Sherbourne Castle for today's meeting should be about an hour. Um, so yeah, sat navs are on in both cars. We're on our way um, to meet up at a car park uh, near the uh, event where we'll get given our tickets and then we can then go in in a bigger convoy with a few more baths that are going to be on the stand with us then we can uh, enter the show together get displayed together so I'm not going to do uh, probably too much convoy footage so I'll probably see you there So I've just arrived at the meeting point where we're going to go and convoy to the castle together. There are one, two, three, four, five of us here. I'm the only spider and I think I'm going to be the only spider on the stand. There are actually two Yamaha XSR editions and two blue ones. Um, but like I said, I'm the only spider. So I think we're waiting for a few more to turn up and then we should be uh, entering the show together. All of us now. We've got a red one, another grey one, I'm the only spider, two podium blue and two above 695 Yamahas. Nice little group so far. Now I've just been given my uh, hanger to be able to enter the show. So uh, let's get on the road and enter the show then. Organising the stand. They've drawn a plan and everything to park these up here. So I've arrived with the Abath squad at Sherbourne Castle. We've just finished organising our stand. Everyone's cleaned their cars. I'm just going to show you around what's on our stand. So this is Charlie's uh, demonstrator. He works with Vail Motors and he's a salesman. So he's brought this new this is new demonstrator, a 595. And uh, check out the uh, wasp badge on the front. How cool is that? Never seen one of those sort of ones before. We've got my spider in the front because I am the only spider. A red Abath, podium blue at the end and then we've got the Vail Motors signs up because that's who we're representing today and then behind we have the XSR which I came up with we have another podium blue and then another XSR at the back and again we have the Vail Motors uh, flags here flying away or blowing in the breeze shall I say and there we are a nice group of people I must say also so I'm with Charlie from Vell Motors. He's the man behind the stand that we're at today. Um, so yeah, how many of us we sold recently? So still recently, selling well? yeah, we're selling loads at the moment. We've had two Rivalis go out only the only two months ago, so they're flying out the door. Everyone's loving those at the moment. Yeah. One for fives are just hitting the market. Um, everyone's after those at the moment, and yeah, it's just brilliant at the moment. We can't hit a better time of the season. So this is your new demonstrator. Yeah, so which this we're is just our current new demonstrator. So basically, from Vell Motors, we like to put on a limited edition run cars. So we had a previous one called the Sting. This time, as you can probably see from the badge here, the wasp. we've gone for a wasp look. So obviously what we've done here is had this all painted by our own body shop. So we've had the sides painted, whole car de-chromed, and if you look on the roof there, all stripes to look like a wasp as well. That's what wicked. we've also done, painted the wheels black, yellow calipers as well, and not forgetting the all-important Mondra exhaust. Oh yeah, that and the wasp badge. The car. And the wasp badge, of course. Yeah, that makes the car completely. Cool, thanks that, Charlie, no thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're going to start having a look around and mooch around. So uh, yeah, I'll leave my spider in the good company of this lovely bath group and lovely bath cars and uh, let's go and see what other cars are here. I mean, wow, look at this pearlescent colour. I've just overheard the owner saying this cost him £7,500. It's like £500 a litre of this paint. Absolutely stunning. Look at that flake.
Well, as there being supercars here and rare cars, there's also classic cars, so I'm just going to have a mill around those stands, but I'm mainly interested in the new fast stuff. So I found the uh, fast and new section. Um, a Lamborghini club stand here. Uh, there's all a field more of classics over there. This has turned out to be quite a big show. Can you see what I see? I see a Volvo 480. Wow, look at that. What a nice colour too. The, one of the latest of Ventador's, uh, the LP750-4. It's the uh, Ventador SV, it's four-wheel drive. Uh, limited production, 500 coupes, 500 roadsters. Top speed is 217 miles an hour, 750 brake horsepower. Um, Ooh. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, and it's just a spectacular car. The thing is that uh, the advanced four-wheel drive, you ask to inspect your car up. Thank you, Ernie. Nice one. So this is a really special car. This is a 1988 and a half Lamborghini Countach QV. What's really special is that the side strokes you see on the car were actually the first iteration um, where the was redone, stripped back down the bare metal, and then re-sprayed it in. 455 brake. So here we have a uh, 2005 model Messier Largo, 6.2 litre V12, which is exactly the same engine in the Kintash, it's just this is fuel injected. Now we have something really special. So this is the brand new Huracan Performante, 641 brake horsepower, four wheel drive, stripped out version of the Huracan. Uh, and the thing, is, the thing that's really interesting about this is the uh, aerodynamic work. So this is the very first car in the world which actually uses aerodynamic force from the... Now we have the very latest Aventador, this is an Aventador S. My wife's in the passenger seat, so behave yourself, Lucy. So, this is the 0.6 seconds with launch control. Top speed is about 217 miles an hour, uh, and it's lovely. And I know that because I've just driven it back from Italy, just particularly the one, and I had a great time. Um, so thank you very much. I'm enjoying the trip, thank you. So now we have, uh, we've seen the Performante, the Hurricane Performante, which is the uh, lightweight stripped out version of the Hurricane. Really, really light, very fast, about 206 miles an hour top speed, uh, and this will do 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Uh, of course, we've got a massive rear wing on the back, and it, the thing is, the aerodynamics really work on this car. Lovely little car, this. And then finally, we have a as well. Thank you very much. Wow, what a remarkable display. Thank you very much for that, young man. And you, you mean you... Hi guys, and you join me from my home where my Bath 124 Spider is now obviously back home. I'm obviously back home as well, and we're parked up on the driveway. And um, yeah, Sherbourne Castle, the first time I've been there to a meet. I thought it was just going to be a supercar and classic meet. Turns out there was all sorts of cars there, modern, non-supercars, supercars, classics rare cars there was all sorts common classics whatever you want it was there um old army stuff race cars it was a really good varied show so i'll definitely go be going again next year mine was the only one two four of any kind at the show so when i was stood by her at the abar stand that she and i were at uh, we were getting a few people come over and talk to us and ask us about cars so that was also nice but today wouldn't have happened without Charlie from Vail Motors, who's a salesman at the dealership, a Bath dealership they have in Wincanton, who I spoke to earlier, um, who basically at short notice let us show the Bath 124 and gave us free entry to the show. Um, so yeah, it was the last unexpected show to add to my list. Um, a few other members were there from the Vail Owners Club as well, who I've become friends with because every Bath owner I've met so far is friendly and that's good because I'm also friendly so it means I can now go out to these meets and meet more people to add to my friends list, Christmas card list, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, hopefully I'll be meeting up with them in another time soon for some more car meets. Um, in the meantime, I will show you what I got from the meet actually. As I came into the show, I don't know if you can see it, is that better? Uh, they were taking photos, that's me giving a thumbs up as I entered uh, Sherbourne Castle this morning. That was actually the only thing I bought apart from refreshments. 
and if I zoom in I've now got another sticker to add to my sort of events sticker list on my front windscreen I've got the Vail Motors at Bath Owners Club so I've now got one of those so I've got the Bath Owners Club the Vail Owners Club and I've got the Haynes one sitting nice on my uh, where I've been to windscreen oh and as soon as I arrived home my Volvo was driving out and I will be honest I did shed a tear um, so Volvo's now gone, uh, which is why I'm over in this space now, because she's not here. Uh, she has gone to its new owner that actually just lives down the road, but it's going to take good care of her and get her on the road, which is something I couldn't do. I couldn't give her a road life. I'm going to wrap this video up here, because I've now got to edit photos, edit this video, get it online, and on the social network. So I'm going to go now, so if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for more bath stuff, more car related videos, more car shows, more obviously from me and my car collection that we have here at home. Follow me on Instagram to see those photos and I'll see you again in the not so long future as I'm still going to call it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.